Welcome to this tutorial on performing the Man Whitney U analysis using GraphPad Prism. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of conducting a Man Whitney U test, which is a non parametric statistical test used to compare two independent groups. But before we dive into the practical steps, let's take a moment to understand the purpose and significance of the Man Whitney U test. The Man Whitney U test is particularly useful when the assumptions for parametric tests are not met or when dealing with ordinal scale or rank data. It allows us to determine if there is a statistically significant difference between two independent groups. Now that we have a brief overview, let's move on to the practical side of things. First, we need to make sure we have the appropriate dataset and understand the assumptions of the Man Whitney U test. Make sure your data is arranged correctly with the appropriate columns for the variables you want to compare. Then go to the Analyze button and choose T-Test and Non-Parametric Tests. A dialog box will open and you should choose No. Use Non-Parametric Test option and well as Man Winty U option. In the Options section, you can also choose to plot the ranks as well as Man Winty U in the additional results. Once you select this option, click OK to perform the test. The output of the Man Winty U test provides valuable information. You'll see the U value, which represents the sum of ranks for one group, the p-value indicating the significance of the difference between groups, and effect size measures. When reporting and presenting the results, it's essential to follow best practices. Clearly communicate the findings in academic papers or reports, using tables, figures, or graphs as appropriate. To wrap up, the Man Whitney U test is a powerful non-parametric alternative when comparing two independent groups. By following the steps we've discussed, you'll be able to conduct and interpret this analysis effectively. Thank you for watching this tutorial on performing the Man Whitney U analysis in GraphPad Prism. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials on statistical analysis and data visualization. Happy analyzing!